In this lesson, we are going to learn how to simulate the unified comfort panel that was added to our project in the first lesson. So I'm going to open up the HMI project that was created in the first lesson. So the, the HMI project is now open, so I'm going to select the project view. In order to simulate our project, we are going to have to add in a user. The user management is now at a project level for the unified comfort panels and PC runtime systems. So what I'm going to do is go into the project tree and I'm going to expand out the security settings. There's a section in here for users and roles. So I will open up users and roles. In this area here, I'm going to add in a new user. So I'm going to select add new local user. I'm going to create a user that's called admin. And then I will select a password and it has to conform you know, to the policies that would be set over in the settings area. So I'm going to create a user password here that's a HMI one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do HMI one, two, three, four, five again. And that's with an uppercase H. So now I have this admin user. The next thing I have to do is I have to select a role that that admin user is going to belong to. So I'm going to pick the HMI administrator at this point in time. In a future lab, we will go into more depth about the user administration. But for right now, I just want to add in a user that is going to allow me to log in and start the simulation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out our MTP 700 Unified Comfort Panel. And in our first lab, we did create one screen with a single push button on it that allowed us to stop the runtime once it is started. I am going to open up that screen. And then just so I've got a little bit more than the single push button, I'm going to drag a text box out onto the screen. And I'm going to call this our unified video series. And I will pick a bigger font size. And I'll put that up on the top of our screen and center it. So basically, we have just have a few objects on the screen, and I want to show you how to start the simulation. So I will select the HMI in the project tree. And then there's a button up on the toolbar that is the Start Simulation button. So I will select Start Simulation. This will start compiling the project. The project does have to be free of errors. You can simulate a project with warnings, but if you have errors, you will not be able to start the simulation. So when this dialog box comes up, one of the things that you're going to need to do is look for this runtime value. So I will expand this out. And there's a checkbox here that says, keep the user administration data in runtime. If this box is checked, when I download or start the simulation, it is not going to use the new user administration from my TIA portal project. It is going to use the administration that has already previously been downloaded into the runtime environment. So I'm going to unselect or deselect this box and select load. This way, my user administration will be loaded into the simulator. Now, one of the things that you will notice is when the simulation is started, it compiles and it downloads, but you don't have any visual representation of your HMI at this point in time. That's because we need to start a browser to log into the runtime system. So I'm going to use the Chrome browser, and I have a bookmark that is set up. And it's the computer name forward slash web RH to access the runtime system. So now for the login, I will have to pick the user that I created, which was admin, and enter in my password and select the Sign In button. So now I have successfully started the runtime simulation. So I am viewing my HMI screens in the Chrome browser. Now, we do have this Stop Runtime button here. 
If I do press this stop runtime button, I usually don't do this during simulation because then that will eliminate the Delta download capabilities. Normally what I would do is I would just close out the browser and the runtime is still running in the background at this point in time. So then when I hit start simulation again, it can do a Delta download to load the changes into the project or into the runtime environment. So I will minimize TIA portal and I will open up the runtime manager. Now the runtime manager is going to show me the HMI project that I started simulation with. And then here is the state that it is currently running. In a previous lesson, I did mention that you could you know, manipulate or change the entries here. So if I wanted to stop the runtime environment here, then I can select that stop button. We have not configured a PLC yet for simulation, but the runtime simulation is also able to connect to a real-world PLC. I will open up my Windows control panel, and there's an entry in here that is called the set PGPC interface. This set PGPC interface is going to define what physical connection the simulated HMI will use to talk to a real-world PLC. So the S7 online is the logical interface, and then this Intel network adapter is the network adapter that I have selected for doing the communication. So it's going to be the TCP IP connection. So in a future lab, when we do actually add in the S7 1500 PLC, we will be able to go online and talk to the real world PLC with the simulated unified comfort panel. So in this lesson, I showed you how to set up your project to start the simulation of a unified comfort panel.